Okay. Now, okay. I have been told by people that are supposed to know what they're talking about that if we take this all the way to two and our stitch length to four, we are supposed to get a two to one ratio on the ruffling. I don't guarantee that that always works simply because it, well, where's, oh, let's just take the Navy. He's on the middle. Okay, whatever. Because it, uh, it depends on what kind of fabric you're using. But this foot has a plate underneath that only goes halfway back. So what that does, I'm going to take the fabric that I want together. And that goes underneath here on this fabric. And then I start, and you can see it's starting to gather. I take this one and I put him in, I'm going to take him up to the needles now, and drop the foot. Now I have to hold the two of them separately because the bottom one's going to gather and the top one isn't. That plate covers the front set of uh, feed dogs, and I'm going through it. I'm not hanging on like I should. Okay. That's where I started. And look at that. And there you go. So differential at two and stitch length at four. Four, right. The same settings that, that we teach in the class, to take the differential all the way up, take your stitch length to the, to the fullest. The, the longest, I mean. However, because this piece is not being gathered, and I don't know if this is exactly two times the length or not. Probably when I was cutting these out, I was being a real wise guy and thought, oh, I'm going to do this and see. Well, yeah, okay. Close enough to count in my book. Because it would have been, I mean, I lost this much just getting it started, and then after that it's working. The but ratio you, is there. But you have to do that to get it started, right? Well, I suppose if you really, really were being super particular and didn't want to just cut that little end off, mm -hmm. uh, you could go ahead and get this up to the needles and then take this one and take it up to the needles oh, okay. and then go ahead and start stitching at the same time. Yeah. But, uh, and of course the whole idea is to hang on and go slow enough that you can control this part on the bottom as well as the top piece. That would but be great for rubbles on dish towels and things like that that you really... Yes, it would be. Like a production yeah. line type mm -hmm. thing. Put a rolled hem on the one side and then That's the right. the other side and it would be great. Absolutely. This is... Um, it's neat. Be this plate just covers the front set of feed teeth so that they don't... That's why it doesn't gather on the top piece. Oh. It gathers underneath the plate, but not on top of it. So oh. don't get confused. And then don't forget, if you want to hide it like this, you want this one wrong side up and this one right side up so that when you turn it, you've got right side and right side. Yeah. Okay? And that's the story of that one.